Hello everyone, this is Ace Marip today welcoming you to my new Photoshop tutorial and today I'll show you how to manipulate photo. And at first I'll go to the open options and I downloaded a photo from davianna.com and I'll give you the download link in my video description so check it out. And at first I'll go to the adjustment layer and go to the levels actually and I'll down the lights. For the cutting purpose I'll using this one so here is the quick selection tool and i'll select this one quickly so be careful when you are selecting so just press it uh, drag it uh, it will select automatically the selected area and just press the alter button and just deselect those area if you want so select this this portion here is some extra portion i'll deselect this one so yeah that's good select these background options and after that go to the select and select and mask and press the shape button and hold it and then select this one and after that the reduce 4.3 smooth 10 feather 5 and contrast 5 minus 24 and then just zoom it in and drag those area which one you want to refine the edges so these portions this portion as well yeah this portion so this portion the white area okay that's good and now select drop down menu new layer with the layer mask and hit the ok button you'll get the transparent background and now i'll go to the file and new options and after that i'll take the canvas which is the letter size 8.5 by 11 inch and hit the create button and after that go to the file and place embedded options and here is the city i downloaded from the unsplash.com i'll give you that download link in my video description so make it bigger and just just position like that yeah you can make it uh, yeah that's good and then hit the ok button and after that take a blank layer and Go to the file and place embedded options here is a cloud i'll give the cloud link in my video description so place this one make it bigger actually like that and go to the blending mode and make it a skin and here is go to the solid color take the black color like that okay and then just select this portion and select these mask options gradient options and select this portion and just mask it yeah you can change the color if you want you can take the dark color and hit ok and this cloud make it bigger bigger like that and after that take the model in this window yeah press ctrl t for the reposition this one and hit ok and after that just select these cloud options and take a blank layer and go to the brush and select the cloud brush make it bigger you can add extra cloud for the yeah and after that go to the brightness and contrast option and little bit down the brightness okay that's good and then go to the file and place embedded options and here is the fire actually and hit the ok button and after that go to the filter and the blur option and motion blur option yeah i'll make the motion blur like that 40 45 degree and hit the ok button and then change the bling, blending mode in skin and select this layer and take a blank new layer and go to the cloud 
and you can give the cloud like that yeah and after that just select this background take another blank layer and go to these just foreground color and take the orange color the color code is ff8400 and hit ok and go to the brush options and take a brush which is the first one brush select once and press ctrl t you can make it bigger and hit ok and then change the bling, blending mode into skin color and you can reposition this one so press ctrl t you can make it bigger yeah it could be and hit the ok button and after that select these options and go to the adjustment layer and go to the gradient options and select this gradient and make like that and hit the ok button and select all the things make it group make it march by pressing ctrl shift alter e filter camera filter yeah and here is a preset i'll load that preset here a movie poster effect and hit the ok button you can change this one suppose i want to make it like that or if you want you can change the all the functions all the things so you have this assumption to make like that so here is the plaques options i'll increase the plaques so blue i'll increase the blue color blue saturation like that yeah i'll make it aqua so here is the fx options but or other things highlight yeah i will reduce the highlight here is the shadow options if you want you can add the shadow so the variance i'll reduce but saturation i'll increase like that the orange saturation i'll decrease a little bit okay and i'll adjust this one with this the primary color and here also and you can add warm effect like that or this one that's good i'll add a little bit variance and highlight also white cell down and blacks okay and hit the ok button yeah after that go to the filter and google any collection color effects pro 4 from the color effects pro 4 i'll add another effects suppose the i'm using the cross processing options and here are lots of methods you can try one of them yeah that's good this one this one or other amazing methods you can use that so i'll use this one and hit the ok button it will take time and it will give you the output yeah and then go to the level and adjust the level like that and you are getting a manipulated photo suppose this one you can write down name or other things here so thank you so much thanks for watching my video tutorial if you have any kind of question query or request please do comment on my video comment section until the next video i am asmr signing out and bye bye